Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art and I are with the lovely Dr. Liz Lister. Welcome, Dr. Liz. Thank you. Dr. Liz, I have a question for you, which I think you probably could help us with, or at least help me with. Every so often, we run across these like really kind of cool things like, oh, well, one of them is elderberry. I would never heard of it about five or six years ago, and my wife takes it from time to time when she's not feel, uh, when a cold is coming on or uh, has a full. So while it's not in the same category, I don't think, uh, I heard of another kind of cool name that some people associate with things that are healthful called bergamot. Is that a thing? It is a thing. It is a thing, and it is rising in popularity because oh. it's actually being studied quite extensively in in various parts of the world. Okay, it comes from a citrus fruit. The fruit is native to Italy. It's a combination, sort of, between a, a bitter lemon and a and an orange. Okay, so it has a nice fragrance. It's used in fragrances. It's used in cosmetics. And it's also now very widely available in various supplements because it's shown to help with metabolic processes, such as lowering cholesterol. It helps with antioxidant function. And it's even been shown to lower blood sugar. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a fruit, is that right? Correct, correct, the fruit. And it's processed in a certain way that it retains all of the different, right? You have the rind, you have the white part inside the rind. So it's not so much inside the fruit, but it's, <clears throat> excuse me, more from the rind. That's how it's made. So do we, so we find this at a supermarket someplace? Well, nowadays, the chances of you finding it at Whole Foods are high. Hmm. It's really becoming more popular because it's so well studied. They actually even know the mechanism for the cholesterol lowering. Oh. It's through, it, it impacts an enzyme in the liver that then translates into lowering total cholesterol, lowering the bad cholesterol. It's really remarkable that a plant extract can have these kinds of effects. Wow. So it's not necessarily that I'm going to be going and buying fresh bergamot and squeezing a glass of bergamot yes. juice. You don't want to do that. Uh, it's that these yeah. are going to be processed into supplements of some sort. Correct. That's exactly right. It's been studied. It has antioxidant properties. It has anti-inflammation properties. So it's been, it's it's quite well studied and it's only increasing in popularity as people are looking for ways to avoid uh, medications that are altering what the body is doing. We're always interested in seeing more natural ingredients that can help us achieve really good health. Sure, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, now because it's a, a fruit in the citrus family, which is a pretty large family, by the way, um, does it have vitamin C? I did not particularly come across it. Again, vitamin C we get, for example, from oranges, and we get it from the actual orange fruit. Right. Right, whereas with bergamot, the benefits, the beneficial compounds appear to be more from the skin. Of the oh, okay. Oh. So, yeah, so, and, but it does sound like a good supplement for somebody like me. I'm a supplement guy. Right, you know, exactly. I, exactly. I love taking pills. <laughs> <laughs> so but, but, but basically you might because I know that you like to put in uh, you, you you have gardens and you have trees on your property. You could be the first one on your plot to have a bergamot tree. I might put in a bergamot tree. You, you're absolutely right. But then I could have to throw away the fruit and eat the skin. Right. Right. Yeah. That doesn't sound like <laughs> Yeah, and it's that doesn't sound it, nice. it doesn't sound like it's very yummy skin to eat. No. <laughs> However, I will also say that it, it helps quite a few hormones in the body. And this is probably how it has the, the effect on blood sugar is not as studied. The cholesterol benefit is really the the most widely studied. Uh, however, it definitely affects the appetite hormones, the leptin, the ghrelin. 
right? So from a metabolism standpoint, it's really a good one. Insulin resistance, it appears to improve insulin resistance. Oh, wow. All of which is very, very important in today's world. You bet. Yeah. How do people how do people get to have people get does it come in a pill or a powder? How do... It does. It comes in capsules. Oh. And a good dose is a thousand milligrams. That's the studied dose. Mm. So we'll make sure that we have information for our audience that you can include. Okay, cool. Okay, good idea. Yeah. But it's a very good one. Placebo controlled studies, the highest quality of uh, medical studies have been done on this supplement, and most supplements cannot claim that. Wow. But this one can. Bergamot. Interesting. Interesting. Who knew bergamot? <laughs> Good. That's great stuff. Love to love to have anything new I can throw in my body that's gonna it's a good save one. me from the trouble of actually eating properly. Maybe you know? besides uh, the uh, your supplement of uh, chocolate pudding with whipped cream on top. <laughs> Doctor Liz, thank you once again for great information. So welcome. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.